I think the most exciting thing that I've seen today in the newspapers was the idea that feeding cows red algae, in other words, some sort of seaweed, can um, reduce the methane emissions, which then result by almost 90%. It, it's simply astonishing, because the whole problem with cows is this methane um, uh, <laughs> expression, the, um, the methane gas which is released from the cow, uh, because of the uh, incredible diet which we put cows on, which, um, which, which, which means cows are in a permanent state of flatulence and diarrhoea. And uh, it must be a bit uncomfortable being a cow. Um, and to, simply to give them, simply to feed them uh, seaweed could change all that. Climate smart cows... Wouldn't that be magnificent? Because cows are such lovely animals. I have very fond memories of my childhood when I was partly brought up on a farm and feeding cows and herding cows and milking cows by hand. Uh, it was something, you know, you lean in, into the cow, the cow leans into you, and there's this sort of reciprocal, uh, this... Uh, uh, this this uh, reciprocity uh, is established between uh, human and animal, and it's a lovely feeling, um, and, and 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 I think it sort of it, it guarantees our place in the world, um, and it, it's something that if if so many children were to be introduced to these magnificent creatures that are big a cow is big particularly for a small child and big but yet friendly and warm and communicative and it's the we we have such a uh, often we have such a limited sense of communication because we're so dependent on communicating through words and um, and, and God knows how we first thought that our communication would be helped by this sort of verbal um, language thing because it seemed to have suppressed so many of our other forms of communication and uh, lo looking into people's eyes, looking into, um, I, I, I must say, looking into Putin's eyes was quite a revelation. Um, but looking into the eyes of a cow or a cat or a dog, and you suddenly see, you, you suddenly see this great wealth of meaning. And I think you know animals do have a form of communicating with each other and with us, and they're far less vocal than we are, and that probably is a good thing. <laughs>